project based deliverable based assumptions constraints are documented in the scope statement uh, who would tell me what is an assumption assumption yes how would you define assumption so for instance let me give you an example of assumption and then you tell me what what does that mean so for instance if uh, in the class you guys are not asking me questions for a topic my assumption is that everything is understood by you now what is exactly meant by assumption is the question you don't have a hard evidence that is assert based on an opinion basically which is not uh, you know uh, based on on uh, hard facts or or what we would say no evidence to support it so mm -hmm. it's a uh, it's an opinion that has been uh, uh, developed based on certain actions basically i would say okay any other perspective about assumption because assumption is a very day to day terminology so i believe yes somebody please go on. yeah Assumptions may be something that may be true or they may not, not be true. No, no, no. It's true. Not may not be true. So assumption are those events or facts that in your head is considered as true. On that ground, you are uh, uh, laying, the, laying down the foundation of the project. In every task, you have certain assumptions. Every task, in uh, whatever you do uh, in your daily routine or in your uh, projects or in your assignments, there are certain assumptions. Right? Assumptions are facts, hypothetically considered as true. And be, be just uh, like exactly because of this reason that they are hypothetically considered as true, as facts, it should be called out. Because later on, those assumptions, if they are going to be invalidated, you will you can be in trouble. Or if they, those assumptions are not going to be mutually aligned by everybody in the project, you can be in trouble. There can be many examples of assumptions. I have just given you one example. Right? For instance, uh, in my uh, documents, in my project scope statement, there are certain uh, unified assumptions always. One assumption used to be uh, that uh, if uh, the project uh, if the project scope statement approval is not granted within 10 working days of the uh, submission of document then the assumption is that it is going to be auto approved so that the development team could proceed with the development but that's assumption if you don't put this assumption in there, then the approvers are going to like just sit on the document forever. And they are never going to provide you the approval. Right? Uh, there can be uh, other assumptions, for instance, uh, there can be technical assumptions as well. There can be uh, business related assumptions as well. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, with respect to financials, uh, one assumption that team can make is with the assumption that dollar is not going to hike like hugely, we are going to provide you this, 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 uh, uh, this uh, estimation. If this assumption is invalidated, then the uh, financials are going to be revised. Up. This is an assumption. If it's this assumption, and you are already given them a heads up that this assumption is invalidated, we are going to rework one. So don't consider that hard and fast. There yeah, can be many assumptions. If without assumption, there is no planning. Nothing in the life is hard and fast. Things can be very conditional. And uh, some conditions are within your control. Some conditions are just absolutely beyond your control. So that call out of assumption is a disclaimer that this planning is on the ground of these assumptions. If any of these assumptions are invalidated, so is going to invalidate uh, some or all of the plan. For instance, uh, in, my, in my case, if after two months 
of not providing the approval on the top comment. If somebody just like from the senior management, they, they just uh, came back by saying that, see, this is part of the scope is not accepted. We, we are not going to provide the after two months, which is going to be like very much the case in practical. By that time, probably team is done with most of the project work. So uh, assumption is invalidated. Now, whatever work has been done on the ground of that assumption is going to be maybe invalidated, maybe going to be reworked or something. And they uh, they are going to bear the cost, not not us, because we have written the, that down in the document. If they have never read that, this is on them. So this is how assumption safety. Calling that out in the document safety. And if you have the approval on those assumptions, then this is the safest. Right? No planning is ideal. Plannings are always on the ground of assumptions and constraints. So what is the constraint? Constraint is a limiting factor that limits your project planning. The popular limiting factors are budget, resources, capabilities, competencies, uh, and uh, some environmental factors. Uh, we, we are going to talk about the environmental factor in the last, in today's class. So anything which, which uh, limit you, for instance, let me give you an example. Uh, when you started off the planning phase of your project, you got an idea from the, your management that for this project, you most likely are going to get five de development resources or project team. Uh, on that ground, you have done all the planning for your project and you have documented this uh, limiting factor as well in your project that uh, this is a constraint uh, that we can't get more than five months. And in the assumption for the same constraint, you have uh, written that the project planning is done on the assumption that, uh, or especially the project scheduling and budgeting is done on the assumption that five resources, uh, up to five resources are going, not up to minimum five resources are going to be granted. If the resources are going to be less than this, then the assumption is invalidated and project planning is going to be. Right? Constraint is that you can't get more than five. It's five, uh, can be less, but not. This is a constraint. It's a limiting factor, right? So constraints and assumptions give you a heads up, uh, give, give your senior management a heads up that uh, project planning is based on these uh, limiting factors or these uh, assumptions. Mm -hmm.